So which one is real? Which one is Amazon? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Fumi Ford. I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I'm a content creator based out of Birmingham, Alabama. My channel is all things fashion, luxury, and anything else we want to talk about. I am so excited about today's show. We are delving into another Amazon dupe haul. The last video did really well, so I was like, why not do a part two? <laughs> now, there's a difference between a dupe and a replica. I'll put the definition down below. I love dupes because they allow me to know whether I want to buy the real authentic thing or not. I hate buying handbags and then just having them sit on a shelf with nowhere to go. So sometimes I'll buy the dupe just to see if I want to spend thousands of dollars on the actual designer brand bag. So there are a couple of items that I already own and we're going to do a guess which bag is real or not and some items that I want to buy. And so I bought the dupe to see if I was going to buy it. So without further ado, if you're not a part of this channel, please think about hitting that subscribe button. If you're one of my regular lovies, welcome back. Let's get into the first bag. I did a video recently about Louis Vuitton and the top six, five or six Louis Vuitton bags I feel like any handbag lover should have. And the Alma BB was number one of those bags. If you are a first time luxury handbag buyer and you say, fool me, which bag should I get? I'm always going to say the Alma BB. And I'm always going to say Louis Vuitton, the brand, because they have amazing price points. So the first bag is Alma BB. Let's go ahead and take a minute comment and let me know which one you think is real and which one is the Amazon lookalike. In three, two, one, Louis Vuitton, Alma BB in Epi Leather, Amazoniana, Amazoniana. Now, let's talk about the bags and why I feel like this is just such a great lookalike or dupe. I love that the Amazon bag has feet. Well, no, let's start out with the Louis Vuitton first. The Louis Vuitton has four feet at the bottom. It's epi leather. I have this bag in epi and coated canvas. It comes with a crossbody straps as well as a top handle. She zips with a lock. The key, I love that she zips so your items can be securely inside of the bag and you don't have to worry about it falling out. The interior is a microfiber cloth. It is bright red and it has nothing else on the inside except for this pocket right here. She is a great bag. I'll bring her closer. That is her in all of her gorgeous epi leather. The lock right here, the key right here. Silver hardware on the piece, which I love. Look at that lined leather. Like this bag is so gorgeous. She's easy to clean off and that's why I like her. And then of course the inside is this microfiber cloth. And that's pretty much it for the bag. The Amazon version also has four feet, which I love as well. She is not leather at all in any of his pieces. She's brown. She's a little bit bigger than the Alma BB, which I like, which means she'll fit a little bit more. She has top handle and crossbody straps right here. The straps are adjustable, so you can adjust it whether taller or shorter. She has gold hardware, a zippered compartment as well. No key, no lock. I had her stuff. Her inside is lined black and white, and her compartment on the inside is zippered as well for your card holder or your wallet. This is pretty much it for the bag. She is a very, very, very cute bag. She does fit a lot inside of her. She fits more than the actual Alma BB from Louis. Um, this is a really, really, really tough one, but I am going to give it to the Alma BB. And the reason why is because she's leather. She's not. So that is probably the only difference between those two. Also, this will last you a very long time. I'm not sure how long the non-leather piece is going to last you, but I know people with epi leathers that are 30, 40 years old and are still rocking. I don't know if 30, 40 years old, but I know people with epi leather bags that have lasted them like decades. So I know the durability of this bag is really great. She's easy to clean off. Whenever I get anything on her, I just clean her off really quick. The color is great. She matches a lot of things and she is my everyday bag. But if you don't want to spend money on her, I'm going to put the price comparison down at the bottom because I do not remember. It's easy to wear and again, she does fit a little bit more. Look at the size comparison. 
she does fit a little bit more than the Louis Vuitton Alma BB, but she's a great Amazon dupe for her price. I will link the Amazon and the pre-loved versions of these bags and accessories down below, so don't worry. Go to the description and you can buy all these items that I found on Amazon. The next item I want to talk about is the Lady Dior. The Lady Dior comes in a lot of different sizes. I have three sizes in the Lady Dior and I love all three. So when I saw this Amazon version of the Lady Dior, I was like, Fumi, you got to grab it and you got to compare it. So let's guess which one is real and which one is Amazon. This one might be a little easy for you guys to guess. So let's see who's going to get it right. So which one is real? Which one is Amazon? In three, two, one. Amazon, Lady Dior. <laughs> this is the Lady Dior, I think in the Nano. She's the smallest size in the Dior. She's patent and this gorgeous gradient color. It goes from pink to like a cream down at the bottom. She has the Dior emblem right here as well as Christian Dior stamped into the silver hardware. She has feet, which I love. Like I love feet on this bag. I like feet on any bag because I'm gonna need you to sit on a table without your leather touching it. I don't need your gnash sitting on a table. I'm gonna need you to have feet. I love this bag. Like, talk about spring and summer. This bag is perfect for spring and summer. The thing I will say about the Lady Dior is the opening and closing of it. She's a hard girl to get into. She does not zip. All she has is like this little flap that kind of tucks into it and then you pull it out and stick your items inside of it. This is a small, small, small bag. I know a lot of you guys will be like, Fumi, that bag only holds hopes and tears. But baby, I'm not here to hold anything for you. I'm not here to hold anything for myself. That's what my man is for. I love a mini bag because it allows me to go on dates, look for my wallet, and know that I didn't pack it because it didn't fit in here, but still look for it as if I packed it. A mini bag is for the girl that knows she's not paying for anything, and I'm that girl. So she is a small bag. I have her in a medium, so don't worry. <laughs> I have a bigger version of her. But I absolutely love this version. It, it's it's sub, it's not substantially bigger, but it's like one size bigger or actually like two sizes bigger than the micro Lady Dior. But she is a great price for what she is. The stitching is a little bit bulky. It's a little thick. It's a little cornbread fed, but we don't mind. She has feet as well at the bottom. She's a little flimsy. I'm not going to lie, baby. This girl right here, she's for the streets. But it's okay because we paid good money for her. And we don't mind a girl that's for the streets if she's cheap. Oh, that's not, no, that's not good. Hey, forgive me. Aha! We don't mind an inexpensive bag. A bagiana that's inexpensive because she's not leather. Mind you, she's not leather. She has gold hardware, just like the Dior. She pops open, but unlike the Dior, she does clip so that it's a little bit more secure than it just kind of folding into itself. She has crossbody straps with a little bit of faux leather and a chain. It's not that long, but it's okay. I feel like it's the perfect crossbody for either tall or short. She comes with these charms. So just like, hold on, let me put it on. Let me put the charm on so you can see it. Just like the Dior comes with the charm, she comes with a charm that's inside of the bag that you can put into it. And she has a zippered compartment right here and just a wide open space. The biggest thing about this bag is that it clips because the Dior sometimes is not the best when it comes to bag security because it does not zip and all it is is like this folded leather that goes into it and your items could slip through the side. It could slide through the side and get in. Anyways, she's a really cute bag for what she is and for her price. When it comes to the winner between these two, I'm definitely gonna say this one. And the reason why I say this one, she is flimsy and she is cheap and more so flimsy because of this. It's this right here. They should have made it a little bit smaller so that the arms just aren't like chaga jaga jaga all over the place. But for her price, for her look, she's a great bag. Like she's just a bag that you can wear pretty much anywhere. She's great for spring. She'll take you into summer. She does come in a lot of different colors. I'll put pictures to the side. For her price and for what she is and how she looks, I would get her before I would get the Lady Dior. If you do decide to get the Lady Dior, I would definitely say go pre 
loved, the Lady Dior doesn't maintain its price too well. And I'm gonna leave her at that. You can get her for a really, really great price online for way cheaper than going and buying it in the store. And if you go on the pre-loved market, that Lady Dior is everywhere. So I would definitely say Amazon Dupe is more bang for its buck than the Dior. But if you like Christian Dior and you do want to get the actual Dior, I will link pre-loved versions of it down below. So today... Amazoniana for the win. Woo! Okay, let's move on to the next item. And this is an accessory. We're going to move on from bags for just a little bit and talk about some accessories that I feel like are going to be great for the summer since summer's coming up and the sun is coming out. Hopefully, wherever you are, you're getting a little bit of sun. Um, Loewe is one of my favorite brands to buy accessories from. And the two sunglasses that I'm going to talk about first are from Loewe. When I first saw these bubble sunglasses, I feel like two years ago, I was obsessed. I was like, I want those. They look crazy, but I definitely want them. I saw it on Amazon. I bought the Amazon pair, wore it, loved it, and was like, okay, I'm going to go buy the Loewe's. So I ended up, actually, my husband ended up buying me the Loewe's because he heard me talking about it so much. Um... And when I compare it to my Amazon, y'all, unless you're holding the sunglasses, it's very difficult to tell. Okay, so which one is real? Which one is Amazon in three, two, one? Way they? Amazoniana. And when I tell you the difference in the weight is astronomical. The only way you can tell with these sunglasses is the weight. This is heavy, heavy acetate. This is fly by the seat of your pants plastic, okay? This is the Keebler Elves made it plastic. For the look and the price, it's absolutely amazing. One thing I'll tell you about sunglasses is get the dupe. <clears throat> these sunglasses right here, maybe all you can do is see through these uh, slits in the front. Um, you're, you're blind on the side, okay? You're going to have to turn your head to look on the side because it's given horse blinders by the side. And this tiny little slit, that's it. So be careful. Watch yourself. But you're going to look so good when that car is barreling towards you from the side and you can't see it. You're going to look good. That car that's coming towards you is going to be like, wow, I love her sunnies. Plop, plop. <laughs> But baby, when the gurney pulls up, all the doctors are going to be staring at you because your sunglasses are going to be pyong, pyong, pyong. These are so dope. These are the Amazon versions. Bright red. It comes in different colors. It feels great on your face because it's not that heavy. Also, as somebody with high cheekbones, part of the chipmunk cheekbone delegation, they sit better on my face than the Loewe's do because they don't sit directly on my cheek because they're not that heavy. Let's look at the Loewe's. Let me come closer. I'm going to suck my cheeks in so that it can really give the effects of Alien. Mm, mm, mm. These are the Loewe's. And baby, as you can tell, I got a push to get these sunglasses on. They are heavy. I'm not I'm not saying heavy like you're picking up your boyfriend heavy. I'm talking about heavy like for a pair of sunnies. The acetate is strong. You can tell it's really really great quality. It's darker than the Amazon pair so the room like it's gonna have more UV protection I guess. I don't know why but it's just darker. When it comes to seeing from the side if this you couldn't see from the side this one an airplane could be coming at you from the side and you're not going to see it. You're going to literally have to turn your head to look at who's talking to you from the side. But it looks gorgeous. Let me come closer. Look how beautiful these sunnies are. Again, with these sunglasses, Loewe, you're always going to have... Where are we? The Loewe logo right here on the side. And that's pretty much about it. The Amazon, no logo, no nothing. It is not a replica. It is a dupe. So you're not going to see the logo or anything that is going to say it's Loewe. A lot of times if I'm wearing my Amazon pair and somebody asks me where I got it from, I will tell you Amazon. There's no need for me to lie about what I have on. The next pair is also Loewe, so let's get into her. Can we pause for a minute? And take a look at the hair. <laughs> it's herring. Maybe it's given healthy. The next pair of sunglasses, I actually went to Vegas and bought the last one. These are the Loewe bird sunglasses. They That's what they remind me of. Like a sparrow or a bird. One is Amazon, one is Loewe. In three, two, one. Loewe, Amazoniana. <laughs> and the only difference between these two is like, this one has like a green gold 
sheen to it. I don't, there we go. I don't know if you can tell, but you see sort of that green, that goldish hue to it. When the sun hits it, it really picks up that gold. It's really dirty because I wear it a lot. You have the Lueve emblem on the side, which is so gorgeous to me. Gold in the stabilizing pieces, gold right here in the front, and it looks black, but again, if I lift it up, you can tell it has a little bit of gold to it. It does come in other colors because once it came out with this color, it came out with it in green and some other iterations. That is Loewe. The Amazon version also is gold. It does not have a logo anywhere on it. It has the same arm as Loewe and opens up just like it. The same high bridge. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous pair of sunglasses. I also had it in yellow, but I ended up giving the yellow away. Um, these sunglasses will sit on your face. I don't wear these as much because they sit directly on my cheekbone. But for the price of looking this good, I don't mind. So these are the Amazon version. They're not as heavy. They're a little bit lighter than the actual Loewe version so they don't sit so much on your face but as you can tell as I'm talking it's moving up because if I smile maybe I can't even smile I can't lift them up but for what it is this is a yacht this is a yacht party I am going on a yacht with Diddy oh baby ne it never gave that not Diddy I'm going on a yacht with Jesus Christ and the disciples no hey Jesus I'm going on a yacht with Beyonce <laughs> I'm going on a yacht with Beyonce in these shades. They are so dope, so cool. Baby, it, it's already getting dirty from my makeup. This is the Loewe version of them. Sits on your cheeks. It's a little bit heavier. But this is way lighter than the red pair that I showed you from Loewe. I absolutely love these sunglasses. Um, I wore them so much when I first got it. It's a great pair. But let me just tell you. Again, I'll put the price point down below between the two. For the price point, I would definitely say go with the Amazon version. Again, sunglasses, unless they are stable sunglasses, like a pair of Celine sunglasses or just black and classic, um, a pair of classic Gucci glasses, these are trendy pieces. Any trendy piece, I will say go for the dupe. These Amazon versions will work just as well for you as the Loewe versions, unless you just want to get the Loewe's, definitely just go get the Amazon version, especially with trendy sunglasses, because they come and go. Like those red bubble sunglasses, you don't see people wearing them anymore. They were for a time and a place. It was two years ago. I mean, I'm still gonna wear them because I paid a lot of money for them, but they're not as ubiquitous and as big and popular as they were. So yeah, Amazon wins out all day for any of the sunglasses unless again any classic piece from the brand go with the brand because it's just better quality you're not going to have issues with the arms breaking but if it's a trendy piece of sunglass baby run to amazon now the next pair of sunglasses i want to talk about i don't have but i am obsessed with them i'm actually thinking about whether to get them or not i ended up buying this one from amazon i can't compare it because i don't have the real one but i'm gonna pop up a picture of these bottega veneta sunglasses y'all these amazon pair went viral when i don't know who found them on amazon but they posted it and it went viral and of course a girl your sis had to go buy one i am a big fan of indoor outdoor sunglasses that's what i call these because of the clear frame you can wear them into a building and not feel like you're being diva ish and you can wear them outside and have uv protection and look cool they won't cover up your chanel under eye bags but they look so good y'all these you know what i'm gonna buy the real one now that i'm looking at her <laughs> I'm gonna go buy the real ones. This is why I like buying lookalikes. Because as soon as I put these sunglasses on, they feel great on my face. They don't sit on my cheeks. They sit on the high bridge of my nose. They are great for my oval sort of flat face. They look great on me. And so I know if I like it this much, I'm gonna like the real version even better. So yeah. These Amazon winner, they're winners because I love them so much. I'm going to give myself a week to see if I grab her, pull her, wear her all the time. If she is a winner, I'm going to go buy the Bottega Veneta versions. But this is gorgeous. Baby, I look gone. I look gone. And I love that there is no Bottega. There's no symbols. There's nothing on there. I also love that they have like this little thing for your nose. I don't know what they're called. These little bridge nose things. <laughs> whatever they are as a person of color with a wider nose we usually need an eastern cut 
for our sunglasses more so than a western cut whenever they have these nose guards that's what it's called whenever they have these nose guards it's just better for our nose so absolutely absolutely obsessed with these i love the color it's like this brown orangish light light orangish brown i love the barely there gold hardware on it the frames are like very thin hold on is that gold and silver silver and gold yep stop I wonder if the real Luevees are silver and gold. It's playing with the mixed metals. So this one's mixed metal. There's silver right here. And then gold. Oh. <gasps> There's no frame at the bottom. Oh my God, I'm just a baby. Baby girl. There's no frame at the bottom. There's only a frame at the top. And the top frame is like a gold silver. So it's playing around with that mixed metal that's becoming so popular. I have a Jack Moose bag that's gold and silver. And it's one of my most worn bags ever. I also have a pair of Zara earrings that are gold and silver as well. So this is what this is playing with. That gold and silver mixed metal. Baby, I'm get, I'm, I love these sunnies. If you don't get anything else get these sunnies again i'm gonna link everything in the description down below now a contemporary brand that i absolutely love is called gaia i love their price point and i love the uniqueness of their bag so let's figure out which one is called gaia and which one is the lookalike so here we go in three two one called gaia <laughs> amazoniana and let's talk about these bags I'm already going to tell you. When it comes to the acrylic bags in Cult Gaia, don't do it. Come close. Don't do it. If you are one of those girls that are prone to dropping things, prone to like your kids messing with your items, like you are a butter finger of all butter fingers, baby, don't get the Cult Gaia. Don't get the Cult Gaia. I broke mine a week after getting it. So you see this, this little, this, oh, don't do that for me. You see this little hole? Yeah, I dropped it in my basement. After coming home from a fun night and I was not able to wear it anymore because I didn't know how to glue it. Like literally a whole chunk of the bag is missing. It comes with crossbody straps. If you do, if if you're a delicate, I'm a, I'm a lady. If you're one of those girls, you could probably do this bag and not have to worry about it. But if you're always in a rush, you're always dropping things, you're always tripping, baby, don't get this bag. She does come with crossbody straps. If you do decide to get her, she does have crossbody straps. For the pink one, it's a rope. So it's a gorgeous, gorgeous rope. She's a beautiful summer bag. She clips up top, so you kind of close her. You'll fit your cell phone and a wallet. Lipstick, you know, your essentials inside of her. She's a little bit see-through, but not too much. Now let me tell you about the Amazon one. Baby, that broke. It came broken in the case. I really just wanted to talk about the bag because I love Cold Gaia. I'm going to order, I'm going to send this back, of course, and order one that's not broken. She comes with crossbody straps. She opens the same as Cold Gaia with this larger ball. You pull her open. Um, she's a little bit smaller than the Cold Gaia, so I don't know if she'll fit a cell phone. She has the rings for the crossbody straps. I will a thousand percent tell you, just save your money and get the Amazon version because she looks just as great. I know so many people with the Amazon version and they wear it all the time and they haven't had any issues. Mine just so happened to come broken because um, my son, let me not say that because I, I want to be able to return it. It came broken. <laughs> I know last time we focused directly on bags, but you guys asked for accessories as well. And I am a shoe girl. I'm a shoe lover. Steve Madden is the king of dupes, a thousand percent. These are a replica of the Hermes Chipre sandals. Let me put it on this side. So I'm going to put the actual version on the side. These are the Steve Madden version. I bought this just in time for summer because I wanted something that was denim and that I could wear all the time she does not have a lot of cushions so i would suggest that you get inserts especially with sandals but i like that she has a, a a thick sole so you don't feel like you're walking on the ground i got it in a size seven she velcros and you can adjust it to fit your feet true to size she's a sandal i like that this isn't tiny 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 small 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 because i have super fat feet these are just a great look alike for the hermes Chipre sandals. Let me talk about another pair of Airman sandals. I had a pair. I know a lot of people that love this shoe. They have two to three different colors of this shoe. This shoe was not for me personally. I have 
flat wide feet I do better in heels when I do sandals they have to have cushion when I sold mine I knew I wanted to try to find another version of them but I was gonna go for the Amazon version because the Hermes version I think is like $700 and I just no baby no I found these on Amazon they look amazing they have the feel of Hermes but of course there's no Hermes logo or anything I mean it does have like this H but that's pretty much ubiquitous for these sort of like Jesus sandals these flat little Nazareth walking sandals I love these I love these better because they stretch so I can put my wide feet in there they have a little bit of a cushion on the inside so I don't feel like I'm walking the streets of Bethlehem barefoot because that's what those airmans gave i'll go with the amazon version because these right here fit a little bit better they stretch they have a little bit more cushion and it's a great color that goes with a lot of different things so definitely grab these again i'll link everything i'm talking about down below in the description box now the next pair of shoes will not be a guessing game because it has a logo on it but if you don't want to spend the money for these louboutin sandals Here's a better alternative for them. I love these sandals. I bought them last year. They have been to hell and back with me. I have walked the streets of Birmingham, Alabama with them. If you don't want to spend that price point, Steve Madden, <laughs> the king of copy your homework but make it different, has a version that gives the feel of these Louis Vuitton sort of dad's dad sandals in different colors and different iterations right this is coated canvas with leather this is a denim material I don't know if it's actually denim but it's a denim material I love that it has silver hardware so it has like this little buckle just like the Louis Vuitton version has right here on the top it's velcro so the Louis Vuitton version is velcro on the top and bottom this one is also velcro on the top and bottom let me just do one shoe one shoe and when i tell you the velcro on this baby you're stuck for life this velcros as well and it's also a pretty good velcro so it's not gonna like pop up on you while you're walking i love the silver hardware details deep soles so you don't feel like you're walking on the ground barefoot on nails and same thing with this the leather soles are thick and really great both of them don't have a lot of cushion so i will suggest insoles if you have a hard time walking on hard surfaces because there's no give especially with this one there's no give in it so if you have an issue definitely grab insoles for these shoes and since it's summer i bought two versions of it i also wanted a black version this one is not steve madden this is another amazon brand called Coats go baby i don't know but she's a little bit more rubbery she has a little bit more like cushion and she's also velcro which i love so she's a, a lot like this louis vuitton version just in black she has that same sort of metal hardware right here on the velcro thick thick velcro so your feet aren't gonna slide out of it let's get into some dressier shoes for those summer weddings so these are the jimmy choo lookalikes i'll put a picture of the actual version to the side they look so much like the shoe i love that it is this gorgeous nude color look at the gorgeous rhinestones the beautiful patent nude this is so perfect for a wedding and the heel is not that high and a great look like for the jimmy choo version but they also remind me of my Manola Blaniques. Baby, I love these shoes so much. I bought it in two different colors. This gorgeous white and also a gray. They're mules. The heels aren't too high. And they have like that rhinestone detail that um, these Amazon pair do. So look at how gorgeous those two are together. If you don't own the Jimmy Choo or the Manola Blaniques and you don't want to pay that much money, definitely try the Amazon version because this is such a great, great lookalike for those Jimmy Choo's. I've seen the Jimmy choose in real life and I still like this Amazon version just a little bit better if you have wide feet like me I feel like the Amazon version is just a little bit more forgiving than even my Manolo Blaniques because after a while this will start rubbing and hurting my foot because it does not stretch at all and these rhinestones will sort of dig into your foot after wearing it for a long time these amazon versions don't do that they're pretty comfortable they're not that high and you can walk in them all day i have it on right now you can walk in it pretty easily 
If you have wide feet, again, it does have a little bit of a stretch to it or it's a little bit wider right here. Um, and you can either get your size or size up half a size if your feet are very, very, very broad. So the Amazon version is going to win. Coming in for a landing. The next item that I ordered, I don't have. I will never get. Um, it's just not not my style it's the YSL eye care bag the Amazon version to me is just as nice y'all I wish you could feel this bag this bag is feels like butter it is um, called the HP hope bag so again there's no logo it doesn't even have the HP hope down the middle like YSL would the shape is a little bit different it's not as slouchy and it's a little bit longer than the I care bag it's a really really great bag she comes with another little pouch inside of her so you get two bags for the price of one she doesn't zip close she has this metal gold bar that you can look at that just kind of stick it through the hole and it opens and then you get like this super super huge bag y'all this thing will fit a laptop it will fit shoes it's like a really really good diaper bag um she comes with a zippered compartment on the inside of her right here and that's pretty much it she's just a wide open bag i also like that the sides sort of come out so she's not as rectangular as before she's kind of getting a little bit slouchy like the eye care bag would be you see that she gets a little bit more of a shape when you don't have her closed up. I cannot wait to wear this bag because I actually really, really like it. It feels amazing. I know it's faux leather, so I don't have to worry about where I put it. I don't have to worry about getting it dirty. Um, because it's faux leather, it's easy to clean off. If you don't get anything else, get this bag. She's a great shoulder hold let me get up and show you look at that she's a great shoulder hold and again she feels absolutely luxurious grab that one because baby the price of that eye care bag dump off a bridge the next bag i want to show you my sister actually has it is a multi-pochette i'll put a picture to the side i think this is such a great version of the multi-pochette it is adjustable on the straps baby when i tell you i open the bag the straps were inside. The smaller bag was inside. This little pouch was inside. So it was like an origami chest that I was just like, not origami. What are those little eggs? The fair, faraji, the fer, uh, whatever those eggs are that you like pop them and there's a smaller one, you pop them. That's how this bag was. It was so cute. Again, it is adjustable. So right here, you can make it as short or as long as you want for a crossbody. You can also make her a shoulder bag as well. You can unclip these other bags. So she comes with this smaller bag, this bigger bag, and this round pouch. You can wear each of them individually. She also comes with a smaller strap if you wanna wear it as a top handle, and this chain strap if you wanna wear the smaller one by itself as a shoulder bag. So it comes with a lot of pieces just like the multi-pochette does from Louis Vuitton. Of course, it is a crocodile embossed faux leather. You can have three different pieces in the bag. So the reason why I like the multi-pochette is because of that. If you don't want to pay the price of the multi-pochette, this is a great one. If you have a child and they want like a purse like the multi-pochette, this is a really great one to buy them. Baby, give that to them and see if they do well with it and don't throw it around. And then if they do well, maybe then, maybe for a graduation gift or Christmas or something, give them the multi-pochette. But multi-pochette is coated canvas. This is faux leather. <laughs> the next bag, and y'all, I promise, we have this one and then one more shoe and then we're done. You can go about your day. Do what you want to do. I'm not trying to monopolize you. The next item we're going to talk about is this pouch. And I haven't opened it yet. All these items came in the mail like two days ago. This is amazing. It looks like caviar leather. You see that? It looks like caviar leather. She's gorgeous. There's like this little emblem up top. Of course, it's not Chanel. The back is flat. So you can wear it against your body without it being too bulky. You have the feel of Chanel without it actually being Chanel. It's a really, really great lookalike. She comes with crossbody straps, which are pretty long. Let me see if my phone fits in it. Well, not mine. My phone can't fit in it. Like the Chanel, it's a double zipper that meets in the middle. Love it. This is a really, really great lookalike of the Chanel phone case. 
Amazon did good with this one. Like some of the times I'm like, girl, what is this? A white refrigerator. This is a really, really great one. It looks really good. I'm upset. I like tiny bags. So this makes me really happy. Like the bags that I like, you can always tell because baby, I'd be giggling and gaggling. This is a keeper. I will link it down below if you want to get her, but she looks really good. And the last item in our Amazon Dupiana haul are these sandals that I really want from Alaya. I'm going to put a picture to the side and the price. I want these sandals so badly. Now, I ordered a pair that looks a lot more like it, but baby, it was taking 60 business days to get to me. These ones came a lot faster than the ones that actually look like the Elias, and I love this one. One thing I love about these is they do have padding on the inside, and they fit my fat feet so well. Look how pretty these are. You know, ballet flats are in season they are trending this mesh rhinestone one is just so beautiful hold on look how beautiful i love the rounded toe i love the mesh and the rhinestone put together it does stretch a little bit to fit your feet and one of my favorite things is look at that it has a little bit of cushion on the inside so you don't have to get inserts unless you like need inserts you don't have to get inserts your feet will do pretty well because it's cushioned. When the actual lookalikes of the Alaya come in, I'll make another video. I'll do a part three of Amazon lookalikes. But these right here, I fell in love with. I did try them on. The cushion is amazing. It fits my feet really well. And they just look great on. Woo, her body is tired. I'm tired of talking. I really hope that you guys enjoy these Amazon lookalikes or dupes. I found some really, really great pieces that I am obsessed with. I scoured the internet looking for pieces that I own and pieces that I want to own that I can get and try out from Amazon. And I really hope that you found some pieces that you love as well when it comes to lookalikes or dupes. Maybe as long as you're telling people you got it from Amazoniana, who cares? Who cares? What you won't do is lie and say it's, and it's not. That's what you won't do. That's what I won't do. That's what we won't do because we're honest people. When it comes to sunglasses and shoes and clothing, I'm a dupe it all day. <laughs> I'm a dupe it all day. With bags, I buy dupes so that I can see if I want to buy the real thing. With shoes that I have to walk in dog poop and your grandmother's throw up, give me the $20 Amazon pair. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it and you're not part of my channel, please think about hitting the subscribe button and becoming a part of our family if you're one of my regular lovies. Thank you so much for spending time with me on this corner of the internet. Everything that I talked about will be linked down below in the description box. If you're not following me on any of my social media platforms, it is Fool Me Forward across all platforms. Okay, love you, mean it. Bye.